two and a half. Miss Connor Adio starts to close in with J.M. Don's third, then it's Holman Hanover. They wheel home, and it's Freedom now up front, and here comes Connor on the outside. Freedom now with Miss Connor Adios. Freedom now and Miss Connor Adios. It's Freedom now. Going after him is Keystone Orr. Armbro Rangers over the rail. Keystone Orr in front as they head to the wire. Keystone Orr in front, closing in on the outside. It's bit of fun with Keystone Orr. Bit of fun. We need medical help and we need backstretch help only for Joe O'Brien. Authorized personnel on the track only, please. Three quarters in 130 and three. That duel on the front end is a dandy. Meadowbright's got the rail and she's got a head up and Keystone Pioneer won't give up. She keeps coming on as they come off the turn at the top of the stretch. Now Meadowbright's trying to shake her off. They turn home. She opens a length. Ready to come out from the rail after is Victorious Lou. They head home. Meadowbright in front. Victorious Lou trying to chase her down. It's Meadowbright in the deep stretch. flat. They continue that burn pace on the outside. Here comes windshield wiper to challenge. Crafty rivals on the rail in second. Tucked in along the rail is Jorge Hanover in third. Witchmere Harbor staying in fourth as they turn home. From the outside, windshield wiper slowly getting the lead and starting to draw out. Followed by teammate Jorge Hanover closing in for second with crafty rival. It's windshield wiper in the deep stretch. quarters in 125-1. Top of the stretch. On the inside with the lead. That's Escort. Right alongside is Nat Lobel. Here comes Jazzy Spark. Mostly cheer and Crash trying to close in. Escort but coming on from the outside is Nat Lobel. Escort's not quitting. Nat Lobel alongside. Escort. Nat Lobel are head, head to the wire. It's Escort in front. Oh no, Yankee tiring but fighting gamely to stay with that lead. Closing in on the outside is Sugar Dust. Coming back on his spot. Say hello. It's no, no, Yankee. Falcon Almahurst has the front. They turn home. Courageous Lady is going to try the challenge. It's Falcon Almahurst with the rail. Courageous Lady to the outside to come on, as is the Ombro Tiger and Pat's Gypsy. Falcon Almahurst opens it to three. It's Falcon Almahurst in front as they head to the wire. Falcon Almahurst in command. And in the stretch, it's Falcon Almahurst on the outside. Here comes Abercrombie. Flight director is third, and then it's Courageous Lady followed by Brittany Road. Falcon Almahurst has the front. Abercrombie is trying to close in along the rail, but it's Falcon Almahurst in front by three lengths and staying there. Falcon Almahurst is going to win it all. Nine times got the front, unbeaten as a three-year-old, but tiring now, and here comes Jargon. Lime Time's got the top, Jargon's closing in. Lime Time in front, and Jargon's closing on the outside. Lime Time is showing gameness. It's Lime Time, won't quit, and is cutting it out again. It's Lime Time in front. Jargon has taken command and goes off by two. Jargon's got the front end. League leader trying to come on together with Timely's best man. And Lime Time now making a late but strong rush on the far outside. And front, that's Jargon. Lime Time is flying. It's Jargon in front to the wire. Reach three quarters in 126 one they turn home. Up top is Governor Skipper, and here comes Wada Baron. Governor Skipper's got the front. Wada Baron's alongside. They're head and head. Wada Baron sticks a nose up. Coming on is LeBaron Rouge and Shady Side Trixie from the outside. Senor Skipper closing along the rail, but Wada Baron is what a horse. He's moving out. Wada Baron drawn out.
walks off town drunk and starts turning it on. Governor Skipper has rail position in second. What a baron with Lou Williams in command is there by two. Governor Skipper's second town drunk on the outside is third. Then it's Shady Side Trixie. Senor Skipper coming with a big rush at the end. What a baron's got it by two, three lengths. What a baron heading for that record. It's what a baron in front. Senor Skipper's got the top, and Barney Farner's coming to him. Senor Skipper's got the rail. Barney Farner, and now Kerry Gold is unwinding three wide. Senor Skipper, Barney Farner's got the top. Kerry Gold is going to take it all. Straighten away in front is April Skipper Torres, Romeo, and on the far outside, Kerry Gold coming with a big rush. April Skipper's in command by two. Torres Romeo is second, and Kerry Gold continues to drive on the far outside, but it's going to be April Skipper in front. Stay in there is battling Brad and trying to come back on. Torres Romeo and now Kerry Gold is making that last move at the leader. April Skipper's got the top. Battling Brad continues in second and Kerry Gold is trying to unwind on the outside. April Skipper's hanging game. Battling Brad second. Kerry Gold continues in third. April Skipper is hanging on to two and April Skipper's going to make a move at the leader. Sugar Dust holding game. April Skipper's up to challenge. Sugar Dust holding on by half a length but April Skipper's coming to Sugar Dust. April Skipper on the outside. Sugar Dust on the rail their nose and nose. April Skipper's got a nose in front on the outside with Sugar Dust. It's going to be April Skipper. it by two. It's Whammo in second on the outside. Stone Racer trying to come back on is third. And in fourth and coming on with a big rush now is Denali. Niatros continues to hang on gamely by two, two and a half. Whammo is making that last drive. Here comes Denali. It's Niatros in front to the wire. Gimbal. Next is Worthy Signal. As they come to the three quarters, Niatros is there, length and a half. Three quarters in 124 and two, and they're humming. It's Niatros as they turn home. He's got it by three. Niatros in front, and Storm Damage is going to try and chase him down. Followed by Tyler B. on the outside, Secret Service. Tyler B. and Storm Damage, and they're following Niatros, and nobody's going to catch him. It's Niatros by four, and he's going away. Niatros and Clint Galbraith, they win the 1980 Meadowlands pace. And four. Niatros is on the front end as they turn home. That's Niatros by a length and a half. Storm damages in second and coming to him. Joe O'Brien on the outside is urging Storm damage to come after the great one. Niatros has the rail and has the lead. And it's a two horse race. It's Niatros in command by two and a half. Storm damage hasn't given it up, but it's going to be Niatros. Condition and get a report firsthand from a man who's seen these horses in action. Here is track announcer Ed Gorman. The weather is ideal, Dave. Sunny all day following yesterday's on and off rain. The track razor sharp, very, very fast. Having seen last week's qualifying heats, it would appear it will be a Sun Sam hot hitter front end duel with Happy Motoring waiting to make his move. I think Sun Sam's going to do it. Up of the lane and it's not over yet. Sun Sam turns home to up. Hot hitter, happy motoring. Tijuana taxi trying to come back at him. Sun Sam's got the top. Hot hitters along the rail, still a length and a half back. Then it's Tijuana taxi and happy motoring. Sun Sam commands it by two and a half. Hot hitters taking that drive, but it's going to be Sun Sam winner. Ladies and gentlemen. The time, 153.2, is a new world's record for three-year-olds and one-fifth of a second off the fastest mile ever raced. The room is computer. Three quarters now in 125 and three. And going off by three lengths is Seahawk. He's all alone in mid-stretch. Seahawk Hanover's got it by five. They're spread across the track trying to take the second spot. Now coming is Concord. Concord is closing in. Concord coming with computer. It's Concord. 
on the rail is no no Nero trying to squeeze through Artie's dream slapstick's got the top but Arbro Wolf's got him measured coming on the far outside is Land Grant Arbro Wolf in front but Land Grant is getting the top for that final quarter. It's Ideal Society turning home with a two and a half length advantage. No nukes to the outside. Begins to close in on the leader. In third, that's solid fuel. Ideal Society maintaining a two length advantage. No nukes is second. Ideal Society, no nukes inching up. Ideal Society in front. The track they turn home. Mackenzie Almahurst owns it by two, two and a half. In second is Lon Todd and making that move. Lon Todd is coming. Mackenzie Almahurst hanging on gamely. Lon Todd Hanover trying to wear it down. Mackenzie Almahurst. Mackenzie Almahurst won't give it up. Lon Todd and now coming on. Warren Hanover on the outside. Lon Todd and Mackenzie. Lon Todd and Mackenzie. What a finish. 156-1. It could be. The photo's got to separate them. Lon Todd Hanover and Mackenzie Almahurst. The time of the Woodrow Wilson, 156-1. Straighten away in the lane. Shy away, St. Pat fighting to hang on as Super One is closing in with a challenge. Banker Barker, Arnie Zane coming very fast on the far outside. Shy away, St. Pat and Charter Party closing in down on the rail. Super One is edging up for the lead on the outside with Shy away, St. Pat. Super One! Sensational stretch drive with Super One appearing to be a no party. And now back to you, Howard Cosell. They turn home, and here comes Super One with Feisinger, and here comes Shy Away St. Pat and Raman, and those three fitting of the champion spread across the track. Super One is trying to hold on, and Shy Away St. Pat wants to run him down. Super One's got it ahead. Shy Away is up on the outside, and Shy Away is inching to the front. Shy Away St. Pat, a great drive, a magnificent finish. These three Colts, it looks like we got a winner, Howard and Shy Away St. Pat, although it's a photo, and now back to Howard Cosell.